Hi, welcome back to our YouTube channel, I2RCNC. We're here in Brooklyn, New York. My name is Sunny. This is Fujin. What's up, guys? So, one of the most common questions that we've been asked by you guys is the differences between the I2R UC CNC and the I2R DSP. So, we'll go over that shortly. Alright, before we get into the differences, there's also has been some confusion about the availability of these two versions and where to purchase them from. Currently, the I2R UC CNC version is only sold through us here in Brooklyn, New York from I2RCNC.com. We also carry the DSP version, however, we always recommend the UCCNC version whenever possible as we feel like it's a better solution. The DSP version is exclusively sold through AxiomPrecision.com. It's also supported by Axiom. They have a robust line of CNC machines, Axiom AR Pro Series, so make sure to check that out. They have awesome customer service and support. Either way, by the end of this video, whichever version you decide to get, you will get top-notch customer service and support from either us here at I2R or Axiom Precision. Now, let's get into the differences between these two systems, and I hope you guys enjoy. Here at I2R CNC, we believe that it's ultimately up to you to decide what control option that you want to go with. Now, you probably noticed that the I2R UC CNC comes in black, and the I2R DSP comes in red as seen here. Now mechanically, the machines are identically the same. The only difference you'll notice is within the controller box. So with both, there are basically motion controllers that drive your CNC. These motion controllers act as the brain of your CNC located within your box. It drives the machine, controls the stepper motors, the speed, location, the limit switches, the spindle, RPMs, and etc. The DSP motion controller unit is a handheld controller made by Rich Auto, which is a Chinese brand. The model used on the I2R is Rich Auto B11. With the UC CNC, it's a software with an AXBB board in the control box. The software is installed on your PC, your laptop, and or tablet. It was developed in partnership by CNC Drive in the EU. It also has a big user community and has been around since 2011. When you first take a look at the two options, you might say to yourself, handheld seems more convenient. You don't need to be bothered with a laptop or a tablet near your CNC. While this may be true, but don't forget you still need a PC to do your CAD design regardless. With a DSP, you make your design on your PC first, save it on a USB stick, take the USB and plug it into your DSP and you're set. Sounds pretty simple, right? Well, oftentimes when you're designing, working, and prototyping on a new project, you will need to modify your toolpaths, your G-code, make changes, make adjustments until you have achieved your optimal results. For the DSP, you will have to unplug the USB stick, go back to your design computer, make the changes there, save it on the USB, and plug it back in. This might be fine if you just need to do it one time, however, it's not always the case. Sometimes you're required to go back several times and this becomes a huge hassle and a time waster. On the other hand, UC CNC control runs off on a PC, which means you can have a more advanced setup. We have our CAD software on the CNC laptop and we also have it on our main design PC by the office area. We do the design on the main PC, save all the design files to a cloud drive such as Dropbox or G Drive, OneDrive, etc. These cloud services are completely free and offer plenty of free storage as well. After the design is finished, we move to our CNC and load up the file there. If any adjustments are needed, we have everything we need right in front of us. We can modify G codes and toolpaths here. No need to run back and forth to design PC, no need to unplug anything. I cannot stress how much easier this has been, not to mention the time saved from going back and forth to the other PC. Some of you might think having a laptop next to a CNC ultimately means dusty laptop. However, with a decent dust collection setup, dust is really minimized and it's not an issue. Dust collection it depends on your shop size and your budget. There are many options out there available. 
Let's look at the screen size of the DSP and then compare the UCC and C to it. With the DSP, because it's a handheld unit, it's very compact and while it does save space in your workshop, what that means is that it's limited in its screens because it's so small. With the limited information, you can only fit so many buttons on the handheld itself and due to its size, some functions also require you to press two buttons and hold. It can be confusing at first and you definitely need to refer to the manual to understand how to operate some of the features. But with practice, like anything else, you'll eventually get used to it. When looking at the UCCNC, you can notice the biggest difference is that there isn't a visual preview of any kind on the DSP. You do get some coordinate info while it's cutting and can adjust the feeds and the speeds. The info is limited compared to the UCCNC. UCCNC is a software on your laptop, so what that means is that not only can you do many other tasks with the laptop, you have more information available to you because of the, your PC screen size is much, much bigger. It can display a lot more useful information, and the GUI is more robust and versatile. The menu options are more conveniently displayed, and it makes sense. You don't need to memorize button combinations, and you can customize the screen to your needs. It has a 3D toolpath preview, which we find that is very helpful. This is by far one of the biggest advantages of UCCNC compared to DSP. The visual feedback is priceless, and being able to see your design on the screen in real time while it is being cut greatly benefits you in your workflow. Being able to set up your workpiece precisely and doing border checks to ensure the path is clear allow you to have all the information right in front of you. This function is a must when you're operating any CNC machine. The list can be quite extensive if you want to compare every detail between the UCCNC and DSP. We only cover the basics in this video. I will list some other functions of the UCCNC that we don't cover, including modifying feeds and speeds more efficiently and precisely, creating and installing customized screen sets, ability to edit the G-code within the UCCNC itself. There's also a diagnostic screen available for support and troubleshooting. Having the UCCNC software on your laptop also means we are able to remote login for support issues. UCCNC is an amazing software and the developers are continuously working on it and updating it. The community of users are growing. The information available from the community makes learning the software much easier. When you have a question, problem, there are forums with thousands of people using and sharing their experiences. This type of community is great asset when you're learning a new software. Okay guys, I hope you guys found that helpful. Uh, whether you're a DSP user or UCCNC user at I2R, we wanted to leave the choice up to you guys. What do you prefer to use when it came to CNC control options? For me personally, when I first started, I started off with the DSP handheld that was the only thing I had at the time and you know it was great, I really enjoyed it. I got the projects done until I got into the UCCNC side. Then I started experiencing the visual feedback, to being able to do the border checks and not having to plug in the USB in and out. I actually never knew how, how time consuming that was until I moved on to UCCNC. Uh, at this point, if you told me to go back to using DSP, I really consider that going backwards. So I, I highly recommend the UCCNC to you guys if you haven't decided on the control option. You know, just do your research between the two and you'll, you'll really see where the advantages come in for UCCNC. I mean, Sonny, why don't you tell them how your experience was with CNC? Yeah, sure. So for me, I first started my CNC experience using UCCNC. So when I first learned, I really realized that I picked up on it pretty quickly just because of how intuitive it was. I'm very hands-on with my PC and my computer and um, the applications on it. And I felt like the connectivity with UCCNC and the ease of use just streamlined my workflow. Um, another thing is also the, the features of it um, allow me to just see what I want done and plan accordingly without having to worry about me messing up and wasting more time going back to designing and, and machining my project. Um, so with, with that said, I would say 
if you feel how a certain way on the DSP or UCCNC, let us know in the comments below. Um, we really hope that this video, despite our personal views, helped you choose a specific way in case you didn't know which to lean toward, whether that's DSP or the UCCNC. Be sure to hit the uh, like sub sub and subscribe with that pillow. And uh, let us hit the bell also, you know, leave also. your comments. Yep, and let us know if you have any future videos you'd like us to do. Thanks. Well, see you guys next time.